I mean, with this question, it really depends on what your availability is like. Um, I have known guys kind of give themselves this sabbatical experience where they've had a break from work or they've used up their holiday days and they have then just dedicated a period of time, whether it be days, weeks, months even, to go out and practice talking to people but of course not everyone is going to have that luxury and also if as well maybe you're not self-employed like I am which also can give you a bit of flexibility with going out and practicing talking to people then obviously you're going to have to set much more realistic expectations. You're only going to be able to probably practice cold approaching either after work in the evenings or most likely over the weekends if you're working a nine to five, or if perhaps maybe you are someone who works on the weekends, then at least you do have the uh, the weekdays as the option to kind of treat them as the weekend instead. But how long though should you be going out and practicing for? Well, it also can depend on how quickly you want to develop your social skills and confidence. Going out for certainly a couple of hours here and there is probably going to be more than enough for you. Whereas for some guys who maybe because of their job that they just spend so much time uh, necessarily being unsociable, then it is going to take that bit longer to kind of warm up into the process. So I know this is actually a case for me because of a lot of the filming work and coaching work that I would do with people. My job is very limited with the amount of people that I'm going to be speaking to. And even then the conversations that I'm having, you know, isn't going to be your typical flirty, bantery sort of stuff. It's mostly going to be just talking about work and especially on the therapy side of things you know we're not talking about necessarily light-hearted topics here if I'm talking about traumas and overcoming social anxiety with people so I'm always someone who's having to have a lot of serious conversations with people which means then when I'm going out to practice my social skills it takes me that bit longer to actually warm up be comfortable and find my social flow it's totally understandable then if you're someone who uh, doesn't have a job that allows you to kind of be really more playful and have more social conversations, then you've got to expect that going out for a couple of hours at a time probably isn't going to be enough for you to start seeing results. So you will probably then need to be booking like an afternoon or an entire day perhaps to go out. But I would say though, as a caveat to that, is that there is a threshold, and this varies from person to person, but there is a particular point in the day or in your social session where you will experience a burnout. You have pushed your social skills so far, but your brain is now exhausted and you're just knackered and you need a break. Now, it's important to recognize those moments and to take those breaks when you need it. Some breaks are maybe you just need like a 10, 15 minute sit down. Maybe you need to kind of rehydrate or eat some food. But others, especially for guys who aren't very sociable, and I am certainly in this category as well. I find after maybe three, four hours, I'm kind of done. I need a break, especially if I haven't done it for a while. But like with anything, it's a muscle. You know, once you've warmed it up and you've done maybe a couple of hours at a time uh, on a regular basis, then you've trained yourself to be able to handle maybe much longer sessions. And definitely before the lockdown, so we're going back a couple of years ago, um, at my peak when I was filming with multiple dating coaches at a time, I would actually give myself or I'd treat myself to a... Uh, boot camp like experience is probably the best way to phrase it. So I would then put aside three solid days where I would go out and practice talking to people and my uh, my wings or my friends that I would be going out to do the same thing with. We would have this rule in place that unless it was a unanimous vote between all of us and by all I mean about three or four of us if it was a unanimous vote that we were all done, then that is when the session would end. 
So if one person was maybe tired, they still had to stay out just to be supportive and offer that moral uh, support to everyone else in the group, but they didn't have to do anything. But it was just good for them to at least be staying out to be sociable. And that would then almost give them a bit of second wind. It would encourage them to start talking to people again. And then where they would jump back in and carry on starting to talk to people, others would kind of uh, wave that white flag and they would be like, no, I need a break. I I need to stop for a bit. And the support was just constantly ongoing. And it's amazing then how having the ability to just kind of switch on and switch off your social skills by choice, but constantly having a a support or a community of guys around you, giving you that encouragement, telling you like, no, that's all good, my friend. You have your break, you've earned it, and then jump back in if you want to. Otherwise, just stick with us. And It was amazing just then the results that everyone was getting over the course of like three days. Consider if you are thinking about going out to practice your social skills, gauge where you're at first. Are you someone that maybe needs to be putting in a little bit more effort into your approaches? Uh, Does it take you a while to warm up into cold approaching? Then consider maybe spending a bit more time, do slightly longer time or, or hours going out to allow you that opportunity to warm up, get into the flow, get your practice in, and then call it a day as soon as you start feeling tired. And it's also kind of tied into morale, actually, I should say as well. In fact, uh, a big part of it is probably down to morale, especially if you're out on your own. And it's okay to get to those moments, be like, you know what, I can't do anymore. I am knackered. There's no point forcing yourself. You are not gonna learn anything more If you get to that point that you are tired, you've done an X amount of approaches, you've done your very best, anything after that, your heart is not going to be in it. So there's no point over pushing it. But when you're with your friends or with wings or even a dating coach as well, do what you can, have the regular breaks and jump back in if you're able to. But just at least constantly practicing within the time windows or time scale that you have available to you outside of work is all you need to worry about. As a last thing though, you don't also have to consider going out to cold approach to practice your cold approaching skills. Just going to social events if you've got hobbies or you're thinking about taking up hobbies can be an even more healthy way to develop your cold approaching skills because you are gonna have to talk to new people and strangers in environments that maybe you are used to or maybe that you aren't used to. There is a lot of ways for you to practice talking to strangers, talking to new people, talking to women that you're attracted to or people that you could just at least practice talking to in a number of different ways. But most importantly, it's just being aware of how much effort you're going to need to put in to just get yourself into that flow state and just see some kind of development through that. If you only need to do a couple of hours, perfect. Only spend a couple of hours. If you need to do a couple of days, do that as well. But the one thing that I don't want to have, uh, what I don't want to have happen to guys is that it becomes the hobby that they become over obsessed with the idea of cold approaching and getting results like that, because that's where the addiction in it can develop. So it's a trial and error thing. You have to kind of find where that middle ground is, where you're not over obsessed, but you are doing enough that you are practicing, you are getting some results, some improvement that then you can apply to your normal everyday life. But if you are finding that you are struggling with that, by all means, check out my website. I offer something called my Dating Desensitization Therapy course, where we will go out together and I will help you to practice your cold approaching skills. Otherwise, even maybe consider the filming and coaching element as well, where I will film you doing your approaching, give you feedback, It's all private content. It's only for your eyes and my eyes only. But by even seeing how you're approaching can speed up that process. So if you don't want to be spending entire weekends practicing talking to people, 
then those two courses of mine could be very useful for you just to speed up that process. So have a look at my website if you can. I'd love to hear your comments below. What kind of time scale are you spending when going out and cold approaching? Do you go out for just a couple of hours? Do you go out for like a full day? Do you put, uh, book like a, like a week aside, just a couple of days aside, like a weekend? Or are you doing a much more sabbatical experience and having like a couple of months off so you can really push hard just to get good at this and then go back to your normal everyday life and apply everything that you've learned. So I'd love to hear in the comments below how things are working for you. Otherwise, if you can, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. Every subscribe really helps my channel to grow and reach even more men to help them with their social anxiety and their confidence in the dating scene. So uh, I would love any bit of help that you can offer with that, that would be amazing. But other than that, I have been Dan, that dating anxiety guy. Again, I've been sitting on the floor. I, I don't know why I sit on the floor, although I, I find I, I think I'm more productive when I'm on the floor than sitting at a table, but there you go. But thank you for watching and look forward to more future videos coming out from me.